just imagine that your wedding is coming up and you have hundreds of guests to invite and you want each of the guests to receive a personalized message with their name something like this which says hey Ree, we have something exciting to announce sounds magical right but sending all of those messages one by one that's a nightmare well don't worry because in today's video i'll show you how to send personalized wedding invitations in bulk using pably chart flow and that too automatically so stay tuned with me till the end because you are going to love how simple this is and not only to a single person but as you can see in this inbox i've sent this invitation to multiple contacts at once within seconds only the name is going to change the rest of the invitation will remain as it is so to do this open a new tab and search for p a b b l y dot com slash chart flow in your browser and open the landing page of pably chart flow once you come on the landing page of Pabli Chart Flow, you're going to see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, click on the sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of credits free every month to explore Pabli Chart Flow. This means that you can send 100 wedding invitations for free. I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on this sign in. Once we click on this sign in, we have to select this Pabli Chart Flow and click on this access now. After clicking on this access, now it is going to open the dashboard of my Pabli Chart flow account now you have to make sure that you add a whatsapp number inside pably chart flow for that go on this add whatsapp number button you're going to see two methods whatsapp connect and manual token connect a video tutorial dedicated towards both of these methods have been attached in the description box below you can check it out and add your whatsapp number inside pably chart flow after adding a whatsapp number you have to make sure that you have preset few things before creating this broadcast all right so i'm just going to let you know what are those few things for First of all, you have to go to it's this contact section from the left end of the site and what you have to do is you have to create a contact list to which you want to send this broadcast and how you can create this contact list for that open a Google sheet, enter the name of the contacts, the phone number of the contact and also you have to add a tag and after adding this tag, what you have to do is copy this tag name, open your Pabli chart flow from the left end of the site, go to it's this settings and then tags. Once you come on this tags, you have to click on this add tag enter the same tag name which you have in this Google Sheet. After doing this, click on this Add Tag button. Now go back to its this Contact section from the left end of the site and click on this Add Contact. Then go to its this Add Bulk Contacts. Now it is asking me to upload the CSV file. How are we going to get this file? So open your Google Sheets, then go to its this file, download and download this in CSV format. Once you download this in CSV format, you're going to see it has been downloaded over here. So go back to its Pabli chart flow and drag and drop it right from here. You're going to see that we have successfully added this file. We don't have to enter this URL. Simply drag and drop the file and it will be added. Now you're going to see it is asking me for the label name. So yes, this was the label which we had right over here, right? So what I'm going to select name right over here. Now for the mobile, I'm going to select it as phone and now for the tags, I'm going to select it as tags over here. For the opt-in, you can keep it as blank. And now we have this optional custom field. So this is not required. And if you're a account is new you might not see this option too so after doing all of this you have to just scroll and then you have to click on this add contact once you're going to click on this add contact automatically all these contacts will be added in your list i'm going to show you that i've already created this list so as you can see over here in this account i've already created this list which is wedding invitation and i have all the details of the contacts to which i want to send this invitations so right now i have only 23 but you can add multiple contacts hundreds 200s this depends upon you after doing this you have to make sure that you've already created a template which you want to send so as you can see that we have sent a particular template to each contact only we have changed the name so how you can create this template for that go towards this left end of the site towards this templates list after going towards this template list click on this add template button and from here you can create your template if you wish to learn in detail how to create a template a video tutorial dedicated towards the same has been attached in the description box below you can check it out as you can see i have already created this template over here is the text which i want to send and also have attached the image over here which will be static but this one in curly brackets will be dynamic which is the name of my lead for then this video i'll let you know how we can do this so after creating this template now we can move in further and create a broadcast so go towards this left end of the side towards this broadcast after coming on this broadcast click on this add broadcast once you click on this add broadcast 
it is asking me to select the broadcast type so select it as broadcast campaign enter the broadcast name i'm going to keep it as wedding invitations now for the contact to select i'm going to select the contact list to which i want to send this broadcast after that we have to select the message type as pre-approved template message and select the whatsapp template now you're going to see that this is the template which i wish to send so i'm going to select the same over here we have two options first of all it is asking me for this body field one and then it is asking me for the url which is the image i'm going to upload over here so first of all let's upload this image which is the image which is the invitation all right so i'm just going to upload this invitation so as you can see that this is the invitation and we have successfully uploaded it now i'm going to keep the file name as wedding invitation right over here so you can see we have uploaded this image now let's move on to it's this body field one so what is this body field one first of all to let you know about this i'm going to click on this done first of all and then i'm going to go to it's this left end of the side towards the settings and go to it's this contact custom fields i'm going to open it in a new tab so once you come on this contact custom field you're going to see these options over here which is name mobile number and the rest so what you have to do is you're going to see that over here we have this field field name name so simply go on this copy and copy this field name and after copying this go to its this select whatsapp template once again select the template upload the invitation over here and now for this body field one simply paste this which you copied from this contact custom field so now what i've done is i told you that this one is dynamic and i want to replace this one with the name of my contact every time i send this message so i want to send personalized invitation to all of them so that's the reason i'm going to enter this name value over here so to enter this name value we have this contact custom field which is a dynamic one so you can copy this field name and enter it right over here and it will turn into dollar name and now this name is going to change whenever we send this template all right so as you can see after doing this once again i'm just going to change this file name over here as wedding invitations after doing all of this click on this done and you have successfully entered this template and now with this we have successfully completed the create creation of broadcast now let's see how we can send it so first of all if you wish to test this you can enter your username right over here let's say i'm going to enter a username right over here and i'm going to enter the mobile number after entering this mobile number we have to click on this send test message once i click on this it is saying test broadcast sent so let's open my whatsapp and i'm going to see yes we have received this test broadcast we are going to see that we have also received this name so yes you can see that this is a sample message or a test message which we're going to send towards all the the invitees so if you wish you can definitely first of all check how this message is going to be sent by entering the mobile number over here and sending a test whatsapp message like this all right so now further if you want to schedule this and send it to all your contacts at once what you can do is you can go to it's the schedule broadcast you have two options first of all no send instantly if you wish to send instant message to all of them you can go to it's this no send instantly and click on this add broadcast but if you wish to schedule this go on this yes schedule for later select the date and time over here and click on this add broadcast and you have to keep in mind that this is the month then this is the date this is year this is hours minutes and am pm all right so keep this in mind so let's say for the month i'm going to select it as 11 for the date i'm going to select it as 10 now i'm going to select the year as 2025 i'm going to enter the time as let's say 12 pm so as you can see i want to schedule this message for 11th of november 2025 at 12 pm now after entering all of this you have to click on this add broadcast once you click on this add broadcast you're going to see yes we have successfully added this broadcast and it is scheduled for 11th of november 2025 and now on this exact time a whatsapp message will be sent to all the contacts which you had in that list which you entered in your broadcast message something like this will be sent where you have this image too so i used canva to generate this image you can use any another platform too or otherwise you can use your personalized images of the couple too so yes this was it for the video how we can send bulk wedding invitations that too without any manual intervention and yes you can now try this for free because we are offering a free trial of pabli chat flow and while trying if you have any questions you can directly comment on this video so yes now see you in the next video with many more automation tips till then try this and thank you for watching 
So not only this, but with the help of Pabli Chartflow, you can create multiple WhatsApp chatbots tailored to your own specific business needs. And now if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this URL. So now I will suggest you go and try this amazing WhatsApp chatbot for your own business too, because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli Chatflow.